scratch the tail and we kicked a, a little toe out, probably a little, little skippy toe out. Didn't snort or anything, so that's good. Didn't blow the whole area, didn't blow my car, it just ran down the hill. Wind and the weather has been absolutely crazy this week. It's been awful. That being said, folks, the weather's been awful. And, uh, but we're on. So let's freaking out. sitting here for about two hours. I haven't seen anything. Just kicked that one deer out in a walk-in, which was my fault. I should have been here a little bit earlier, but things happen. I haven't really discussed the hunt situation with you guys. There's a field up top, probably about 75 yards away, and there's a field down below, probably within 200 yards away. The field up top is the field we walk in to get to the spot. The field down below is just some thickets. It's not no farm field, no, no crops, no nothing like that. It's just a uh, crossing zone for these deer to get into these woods. Squirrels, chipmunks, it's been dead all around. We haven't seen any squirrels. We have seen one chipmunk way up on the hill here. And the birds have been silent too, so I don't know if it's just one of those nights or what's going on. It is October 12th, Monday, Columbus Day. It's 3.35 right now. The wind is just a whipping behind me. So I didn't want to sneak down. It's too late to sneak down to the ground blind right now. I mean, I was late yesterday. I was going in about 3.15 and I kicked one out. So I'm going to sneak along this edge over here. And then I'm going to go down and just sit on these power lines. We have these power lines that like cross right between the properties we hunt. And I just want to, I want to sit down. Well, it's going to be a hunt slash scout because I want to see if there's anything coming through. And I want to take this opportunity, be coming out late, yes, but I'm still going to get an opportunity to go down and scout. And uh, hopefully something comes out. I mean, I want to see some deer and what their activity is. I feel like they're going to come out and eat, like feed in the field tonight, field in the pow feed in the power lines tonight, just because uh, the, we have some storms brewing and storms coming through. So they're going to come out and get some food and then probably go hunker down for the night. Goal is head down there, sneak down there, just get off the edge of them and sit there and observe and scout. And of course, of course I'm going to have my bow in case something does mysteriously happen, come up really close, but... Tonight is mostly a scouting mission, but we're hopefully, hopefully we just see some deer. All right, y'all, we made it to this spot. This right here is where we're gonna be sitting tonight, scouting along this power lines. This is also where we saw a whole bunch of those trail cam pictures. I have trail cameras set up right off the edge of those power lines. I had a whole bunch on that, that extra buck was on. So I'm very excited to see what comes out. I hope you guys are just excited to see what comes out. All right, folks, it's 5.45 right now. Decided to sneak out of there. Wasn't seeing much, and uh, my butt was killing me. Haven't sat on the ground like that in forever, usually sitting on something or in a chair. So, yeah, my butt's starting to kill me. I don't get it. I think these deer are starting to change their patterns because they were always down in that field before the season started. Now they're not. So, they're changing their patterns. Just got to catch back on to them. Like I said, we had a whole bunch of pictures with the trail cameras there and over here by the blind. And we haven't really seen any, but I mean, I understand the smell and everything. Um, me getting down there could deter them from coming in and everything. But with that being said, folks, I want to give you guys a little tip. If you're going to be sitting next to a tree, do yourself a favor. Before you sit up and everything, you already made a lot of noise getting to the woods or a decent amount of noise. Take your foot and clear that dirt away. And I found a lot of success doing that. When you do that, you, you're just clearing out all the sticks and the, the leaves. So when you do have to make your uh, the moves to take a shot at a deer from the ground, or if your butt's hurting, you got to make uh, minor adjustments to get comfortable back against a tree. You don't make that much noise. All right, folks, we just made it back to the house. I want to thank you guys so much for sticking around to this point in the video. Struggle bus out there. We're going to have to get back on them. We're going to have to go out there and scout and look at the trail cameras again. They changed the patterns. Like I said, they were always down there grazing in those fields at the bottom of those power lines. 
And now they just switch their patterns. I sat there for a couple hours, didn't see anything. Saw that one deer when we walked in, kicked him out. But hey, thank you guys for sticking around. I mean, it's tough hunting. That's how it goes sometimes up here in upstate New York. We gotta figure out their patterns, and we will. We will we'll go down, we'll get to observe the trail camera footage, and uh, we'll get back on them. And we just we just got to figure out the new patterns. Uh, they're changing the patterns right now because the rut is right around the corner. So, a we'll, we'll couple more weeks, they're gonna probably switch the patterns one more time. Hopefully not, because we gotta try to figure them out and uh, set up accordingly. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, it's been a struggle bus. You guys wanna hang out there in the woods with me. Really appreciate it. I really want to show you guys this because it creates a storyline to when you lead up to success. And it just shows you guys how, how, how much it pays off to be out in the woods day after day after day. It just it doesn't matter whether you see a deer or not. It just pays off because you, you're learning something new every day. With that being said, folks, I'm going to keep this one short. Thank you so much for all the support. If you would do me a favor, you like the outdoors as much as I do, go right down, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like this video so I know you guys are enjoying the content. Until next time, guys, I love you. See you guys very, very soon out in the woods. Hopefully on some deer. Love you. Right here. Peace.